Hello and welcome. Can you see the best of Connemara in one day? Probably not, but let's try, shall we? We had two days unexpectedly to see Galway. In this video, we will show you the best sites and places we found. If your time is short, come with us and see our Connemara. We could have taken the slow winding coast road, beautiful as it is, but we took the N69. It's the main road from Galway to Clifton. We drove straight to Clifton, right towards the mountains of the Seven Bends. Leaving Newcastle, Galway City, heading northwest on the N69, which is a good road, it takes you along to our first stop. On in your castle, a heritage site on the shores of Loch Corrib, managed by the Irish Government Office of Public Works. And they have closed the windows in glass. It's but in 1653, the hated Oliver Cromwell, who had conquered Ireland on Henry VIII's instruction, confiscated the old Flaggerty lands and so the castle fell into ruins. He imprisoned Roman Catholic priests who were forbidden to minister to their flocks on Innisboffin and Innismore, two of the Aran Islands. It was only after the Catholic emancipation, spearheaded by Daniel O'Connell, that things changed in the early years of the Irish famine from 1853. The famine depopulated Ireland and reduced the population by over a million who either emigrated or starved to death. Connemara was hit particularly hard. The main town outside Galway is Clifton. Connemara is of course one of the largest Irish-speaking parts of Ireland. The language has played a large part of the culture of myth and legend since early times probably around the 4th century. Irish was predominant up until the late 19th century when English became dominant. It is the Republic of Ireland's first language. Next stop, after passing through the small village of Letterfrack, we are pulling into Kylemore Abbey. It recently opened to the public after the Benedictine nuns built here a new facility and it was doing a roaring trade. It has two large car parks and a cafe with beautiful food, a shop selling clothes and souvenirs. So if you are feeling cold as we were, we bought a fleece for heat. Yes, we know this is an Irish summer. Layer up, folks. The Kylemore Castle Foundation Stone was laid in 1867 by Michael Henry for his wife, Margaret, a wealthy London doctor with a growing family. It was sold in 1903 to Lord and Lady Manchester, who were forced to sell again in 1920. It was then bought by the Benedictine nuns who had to flee Belgium during World War I. That's the history, let's look inside. The opulent interior is said to be as it was in the Michael Henry era of 1880. After his wife died at the age of 45, he built a Gothic style church. In her memory close to the castle, as it was then known. After it was bought in 1920 from the subsequent owner, Lord Manchester, who became bankrupt, the castle was renamed as Kylemore Abbey by the nuns, and it's been that way ever since. The Gothic church a short walk from the abbey is stunning, and it is where Michael and Margaret Henry are buried side by side. We have more to show you, so don't go away, particularly film buffs. At this point, we will pass through Linan Olean near the apex of the Killary Fjord. It is the only fjord in Ireland and is 45 meters deep at its deepest point, and we are about an hour's drive away from Galway. On the way back from our day trip, let's call into Kong, the quiet little village made famous in 1952 by John Ford, the director of the iconic film that is credited with kickstarting the Irish tourist industry after World War II. The Quiet Man. It starred John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara, and it was a blockbuster of its time. It grossed $3.8 million in the first year of its release, and with British audiences, it was the seventh most popular film in cinemas in 1952. And while you are here, Kong Abbey is open for visitors if you still have time. Meanwhile, we are off to Galway before dark. So that's our Connie Mara in a day. Home by 8.15. We hope you enjoyed it. Please follow, give us a thumbs up, and we hope you will join us in the next one up there. Thank you. Take care.